Hi guys, welcome back. This is Tarun again back with another fitness video for you folks. So I've been getting a lot of questions from you, you know, uh, about uh, training splits and you know, how much should we be training and what is the right training split or what should be the recovery time for every workout. So guys, I've been, I've started this whole training series. Uh, so in this video, I want to share something very, very, very basic with you folks. Something, uh, some of you may know this, some of you would actually have no clue. I was talking to a lot of people and they had no clue, uh, uh, you know, about the training principles, some basic training training principles that you should be following and guys these training principles applies only in hypertrophy if your goal is to gain muscles if you're into fitness training if you're into functional training uh, these tips may not come in handy to you because this only applies to people you know who have aesthetics uh, as their uh, core focus so what are those training principles are we talking about so guys before I begin this uh, uh, video about training principles please note that these are just guidelines you know you can obviously basis your lifestyle basis your you know uh, a routine you can obviously modify it and tweak it uh, don't go by the book because that is exactly what the idea is you know because everything is different for different people because our bodies are different so let's quickly go right at it what exactly are these training principles so number one the first thing you should remember if your goal is hypertrophy is you got to train your body part at least once a week so no matter uh, what you do remember you could be an ectomorph you could be an endomorph or you could be a mesomorph you have to train one body part whatever body part every body part rather once a week whichever training split for example if you're an ectomorph you know uh, you can do like a monday wednesday friday split you know depending on chest back or, or back bicep depending on you what you want to do if you are a, an endomorph like me people who can weight or lose weight easily you know uh, then you may want to do it like twice a week one body part hit it twice a day because uh, it's psychological too that you may end up putting on weight and if you're a mesomorph you can take a call because you know your enemy is blessed with great genetics you can either choose to do it once a week or twice a week up to you so this is training rule number one training principle number one that you have to in order to make gains hypertrophy gains or muscular gains you have to train your body part at least once a week number two recovery is the key guys remember that you know if you haven't recovered because a lot of people i see they even train one body part three times a week twice a week but remember if you recover if you haven't recovered from your uh, workout you know and that workout depends a lot on your intensity and i remember i've done a video on intensity the more you push in that particular session like if say if you're pushing for a chest workout and you know chances are tomorrow your body will be sore your recovery will not be as great so that's why it's important for you to recover from your workout guys if you haven't recovered trust me you will not be able to grow you know it's so that there is that stupid mindset of people i see you know oh, i have to hit the gym six days a week doesn't matter whatever happens guys more the, the philosophy that more is good doesn't work in bodybuilding if your goal is especially hypertrophy you're not a strength athlete you're not a your fitness athlete you know wherein your goal is to pack on more power so that you can do power lifting or you know play any sport because these guys really have to have that endurance and and probably you know uh, put in a lot more but if your goal is aesthetics you know you have to give utmost time to your recovery if you're not recovering well you're not going to grow. So remember, recovery is the key. Recover from your workout, guys. Chances are you can also do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday workout. That way, you'll also hit your body part once a week, depending on your recovery. And remember, I'm going to share something with you, which probably no one has. You know, what are the body parts which needs minimal recovery? Do you know those body parts? Let me share this with you. You know, because I get this question a lot that Tarun, how many times should I train my abs? Because I've seen a lot of people training abs every day. You know, abs don't need that much of recovery time. So what you can do is you can actually hit your abs twice or thrice a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, up to you. Calves don't need too much of recovery. So you can also train your calves twice. Even back for that matter, which is a bigger muscle group, also does not need that much of recovery. So you can hit your back also twice a week but the other body parts your chest your shoulders your arms they need recovery friends so you really have to give in that much time for them to recover number three you know you have to do three to four exercises per body part now if you're thinking that oh you know what i'm not going to be uh, i'm going to be working out uh, uh, let's say one body part let's say bicep and i'm only going to do two exercises and then i'm gone no 
three to four exercise is a must guys and you know you got to have those warm-up sets before you get into the working sets what are those warm-up sets warm-up set is, is let's say for example if you want to hit your chest you hit the gym you warm up properly and your first set is very very light you know you do about 10 to 15 20 odd repetitions from it your body is warm your chest is warm then your comes your working set and that's you gradually have to get your weight up you know you have to load the bar and then probably increase the weight so that that becomes a working set so you have to do at least three to four exercises of each body part for example if it's chest you got to do bench press flat bench press incline bench press if you want to decline you can do decline uh, uh, you know incline flies or, or butterflies you have to do four exercises and remember if your goal is hypertrophy I've shared this with you earlier also you got to do at least eight to 12 repetition anything over 12 repetition comes under muscle endurance which works pretty well for sports athlete for fitness athlete but not for hypertrophy guys so remember three to four exercises when you've recovered well for each body part and that too hitting once a week at least you got to do it number four remember you know my legs has always been my weakest area and it still is you know and i'm working on it because i was injured a lot because of my legs i've been a squash player in the past you know so i've really really pushed my legs and i've played squash for india i've been a national level squash player so i've really really beaten up my legs guys so remember legs is not a muscle group it's a group of muscle you know there's so many muscles so if you're thinking you're going to do the three to four exercises for legs also no that's the mistake i was making i don't want you to make that mistake so three to four exercises for your quads which means for your thighs three exercises for your hamstring which is for your you know the, the posterior area for your legs and three exercises for your calf so which means total nine exercises because lower body you have to cover it like that because three exercises or four exercises are not just good enough for legs so it's a group of muscle guys remember so you have to treat it like that <laughs> number five you know this is something very very important that I tell this to everybody you have to have one set and you know not just one set you have to train as if you know uh, uh, you got to have power you know every set of yours every rep of yours should be fast if you really want those hypertrophy gains so what will happen is you know you're adding you know when your sets are more powerful in nature what is power actually power is nothing but more weight with probably lesser time so what will happen is you know when you start doing this you know you obviously activating more of your muscle fibers remember that type 2 muscle fibers I keep talking about one once you recruit that it adds up it leads to your neuromuscular efficiency which is nothing but you know your body's ability to recruit more muscle fibers you know on an ongoing basis it becomes more of a pattern so when this becomes a pattern chances of you growing and packing on muscle are a lot higher because you're recruiting more muscle groups guys so that's why I would always urge you you know whenever you do any set or any rep of but any body part or any muscle group at least you know go with heavier weights and do it with power you know and in lesser time you know because when your body is under stress and lesser time chances of you growing are a lot higher think about it this is a very very critical rule guys you know if you do it slow you know uh, you can keep changing variation once in a while but the idea for you you'll also burn more calories if you're fat if you do it faster you'll burn more calories so think about that as well plus you know you lose a lot more body fat too with that so Keep that going, you know, with that speed, that power, it's very, very important for your muscle gains. So these are some of the five things that I wanted to share. Let me just sum it up again for you. Number one, train each body part at least once a week. You've got to train. Number two, you got to recover from your workouts. If there is no recovery, man, you're not growing. Number three, do three to four exercises per body part. Number four, you got to do at least nine exercises for your legs, three exercises for your quads three exercises for your hamstrings and three exercises for your calves number five your sets have to be with utmost power and strength you know so that you do it in a particular speed to activate your muscle fibers so i hope this message gets into your head loud and clear any one of you who have any questions around this feel free to reach out to me either on my facebook youtube or on my instagram and i'll be very happy to help you with your training principles so until we meet again peace